Hello from the Sydney Swans and this week we're celebrating the Rising Star nomination of one of our brightest stars, first year draftee Nick Blakey. The 19 year old forward was sensational in the final quarter of Sydney's eight point win over Hawthorne, burning two goals to play a crucial hand in the victory. Blakey says a message from coach John Longmart three quarter time sparked the surge. He didn't just speak to me, there are a whole lot of boys that needed to step up, obviously Bud going out and um, I had a really quiet first half and probably three quarters, so I um, supposed to have a good last quarter, it was pleasing. It was a game packed full of Blakey highlights, with a youngster also flying high for a Mark of the Year nomination. Wants to go quick and that's a good decision as well, Blakey! Oh, what a grab, Jeez. brilliant. You can vote Andy for Blakey's Wright. Mark by heading to the AFL's Mark of the Year website. On the injury front, veteran defender Jared McVay and speedster Harry Cunningham are a chance to return from injury as Sydney meets the Gold Coast Suns at the SCG on Saturday afternoon. Jared McVay hasn't played since round 12 due to a hamstring injury, while an adductor injury has sidelined Cunningham since round seven. Long Mike expects Gold Coast to present a steep challenge. Yeah, they're playing a competitive brand of footy. They're they're, um, they're competing hard and, and we see what they can do and we're mindful of that. We don't take any notice of the win-losses. We see how they're, they're putting together their football and you know, we got a lesson last year after a quarter time about how to play and we need to make sure we take notice of that. The Swans are this week celebrating Grassroots Appreciation Round which acknowledges everyone involved in community football. Players, umpires, coaches, parents and volunteers. So we'll again be at the SCG for a clash with Gold Coast on Saturday afternoon. Gather your friends and family, jump onto the Swans website and secure your seat now and we'll see you at the footy.